Good luck, we've got world number one in motion. Toledo, two-time J-Bay champ, throws down a clean down carve right back to the lip. Disconnected off that second section and how about that perfect slice into the pocket. Toledo still running after this one as John gets started to the best on tour. Going back to back here in different heats. The Hurley Pro Sunset Beach. Here we go again. Felipe Toledo off the bottom, straight up into the corner. Beautiful arc. That was a power torque right there. A lot of core oh, strength. What? Are you sorry. kidding me? Woo! That was just fire flying off the rail right there. That second turn was money. That was incredible. How was the, the like two stroke paddle into it too? You just kind of poke the tail and just two easy strokes to get into it. It's unfortunate because now look what we got out the back. Nice. Slash by the defending world champ, Felipe Toledo. Looking sharp again. Slicing through the water. And a confident Toledo. Fist pump halfway through this ride. He's going to stick with this wave. Look to see the connection into the valve section. Wave stands up for more for Toledo. Eases that turn, reading the wave well. With some jumbled water and a couple of soft banks there for Felipe Toledo. All the way through, looking to replace his six point ride. Taking this one to the beach, Peter. <laughs> yeah, well, minute 30 to go. Well, there's no, you know, go all the way back out. Semi-final number two is on. Felipe Toledo is surfing for his first big league win in Hawaii. Joao Chianca is surfing for his first ever CT final appearance. The two Brazilians face off for a spot in the final. Out in the water, Joao Chianca. Dropping into this one. Joao Chianca making a statement in 2023. Couple of big turns for Joao. I get excited about surfing. It's when I don't expect something to happen and it happens. And that's what Joao brings. He brings this excitement and this wow factor that you just don't see. And it's so different and raw. Last wave, Joao Chianca, an 8-1-7. Here we go with Toledo, slashing off the top, looking sharp. That second turn was unstoppable. And the numbers coming through here at a 9.1. That was insane surfing right there. Here we go, Felipe Toledo. Can he increase his lead? Snaps a big finish and back up into float one more time. Draw on the answer back. Needs an 8.17. Layback gouge. That number comes in at a 7.37, so it's not enough. And Toledo will be meeting Griffin Colapinto in the final. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Play some ball, huh? Live, get it. <laughs> 40 minutes to have a lot. <laughs> the men's final is ready to hit the water, and it will be a stellar matchup between Griffin Colapinto and Felipe Toledo. This is not the first time these two have faced each other in a big league final. The male pro Portugal champ, Griffin Colapinto. Colapinto has never surfed a final without Felipe Toledo. Griffin Colapinto steals the win off Felipe Toledo. Toledo has never beaten Cola Pinto in a final. For Felipe Toledo, it's a big moment for him. He uh, has a lot to prove in Hawaii, and now's his time to shine and show that he can compete with the best over here in the birthplace of surfing. The men's final begins now. First wave of the set here for Felipe, and he goes to work with that big arc. Always so solid on his feet. And Griffin on a bigger wave on the outside. Sets the rail and does a big gouge in the face and then throws it right back up into the lip. How did he come down with that? 9.17 over Felipe's 7.83. Colapinto with priority will finally find a score to back up his 9.17. Lot of chatter off the bottom attacking the lip. Setup work, there's the ball, got there in plenty of time. Toledo's got some size to work with. Throws down the wrap to start, now Griffin seeing him. Toledo throwing a full, healthy wrapping turn and just blows out the finish. 6.33 for Griff. Toledo, he just got the lead, 8.27.
now Griffin. He's already going to roll into this one. 6.93. Deep change. So that would end up being a tie break decision. But hang on, Toledo still got a monster of a score yet to lock in. Numbers dropping for Toledo, 9.47. Takes this one off of Griffin Cole Pinto. Felipe Toledo defending world champ. And now taking out his first CT win here on the North Shore of Oahu. The Hurley Pro Sunset Beach champions have been decided. Felipe is one of those athletes that has been progressing at the spots that he needs to get better at. Hawaii is one of those spots that you would say, but today it was proven Felipe is a man to beat at Sunset Beach. His performance and the level of surfing that was happening here in this final, incredible. Um, the stoke level is just over the roof right now. Um, special time to have my family here, little kids. Um, <laughs> you know, I do this for them. That's, that's uh, you know, all the hard work, 10 years on tour. This is, it goes through my veins right now. It's, it's just amazing. It was Felipe's turn to break the streak against Griffin. Felipe takes out his first ever win of his career in Hawaii. Welcome to the southeast coast of Australia and one of the most iconic surf spots in the world, Bells Beach. This year marks the 60th anniversary of the Rip Curl Pro. More waves on the way here. Joe Turpel with Wayne Rabbit Bartholomew for the call as we look at the snap from Toledo. Floats it quickly, setting up the lip again. A nice little gouge in the pocket. Inside double up, big fin throw. Semi-final one features reigning world champion Felipe Toledo against Australian Ethan Ewing. And it looks like Toledo is gonna get things started early here. Building speed for something big down the line. And now looking for a big finish. And he finds it aggressive on that final section. Ewing now getting the opportunity to draw that board back into the bowl. And kicks that tail. This guy's been razor sharp on, on any right-hander on the schedule these past two seasons. And he's bought that form right here to Bells. So here we go, Philippe on his second ride here. Tail slide snap off the top, projects over this section. Eyes down the line and just throws the tail up and above the lip. Final finishing turn. What's he got in store? Of course he's going to throw the, uh, the air rev. Well, Toledo is not wasting any waves out here at the moment. And he has a dig at this one, throws the rotation. Ethan, he's going to use his priority here. He's after a 6.8, just loading up that speed at this stage. Great kick on the fins to get started. Rips that board through a nice pocket carve and again goes to the rail. Well, 8.43 for Ethan Ewing. His mom, Helen Lambert, won the event in 1983. And Ethan going to get his shot at a Bell's title here in 2023. The Western Australia Margaret River Pro is stop five on the WSL Championship Tour. They all look at it as an opportunity, a chicken skin moment to be able to compete with him as he's 51. Big front side hook from Toledo. Great start. Big float off the roof. Air drops in the flats. Catches up to a nice vertical climb. And ooh, that calm look up towards the panel. You love the passion and the fire from the defending world champ. Looking for a 5.51 to get the lead off Liam. I think he's done that, Felicity. I think that probably will leave him a little bit in the tank. Felipe up and riding. And last year's world champion just whips through that first turn. Big section here. Pushes hard on the back foot. He's going to get a third move in as well. So that's what he needed. Jordy scores coming through to be expected. They're, they're going to fall around the six point range. Felipe getting an extra turn in. His wave maybe not quite as tall, but that second move bugs just so strong. It's early morning on finals day, and the world's best are warming up for the finish of this iconic championship tour event. A clash of world champions begins the day, and Gabriel Medina looks unstoppable in a quarterfinal matchup with Felipe Toledo. Gabriel Medina throws down the first turn of the morning. We haven't seen the best of Gabrielle in the last year or so, but you feel like he's warming up. You feel like 
He's starting to get into that groove, find that mojo. It was all about the Medina show on the solid backhand attack on his road to his first semifinal at Margaret River and his first semifinal of 2023. I'm just happy to, to make through the, the nine, really. Uh, so whatever happens now, it's a win for me. Yeah. The theme is just getting better and better. Well, fall and it's fun. Fun. Thank you. Thank you. Medina eliminates the current world champ, and Gabby moves into the semifinals, where he will be tested by the number one surfer in the world right now, Joao Chianca. Our defending event and world champion here. First wave of the qualifying round for him. Felipe, the reigning world champion, is excited to be back competing in perfect waves. Felipe Toledo is impossible to beat. I mean, you look at the way he surfs this wave, he's never had a problem with it. Doesn't look like he's lost on the wave at any time. He is just so quick in and out of transition. He can fit the moves in. You know, you have your line already. I always try to change it up a little bit. That's going to be key for this wave and for my runs. A very well-balanced performance by Felipe Toledo. Happy to advance, ready to, to bring variety and bring excitement for everybody watching. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to be back. Representing the Golden State, house favorite Griffin Colapinto versus Felipe Toledo and a blizzard of Brazilians. Felipe Toledo looking to advance into the final to be leading the championship tour on the men's side. What a maneuver there from Toledo. The defending event champion and the defending world champion in the barrel. Great positioning, not super deep. And he'll end with the pop shove it. Uh -huh. He'll pull it too. That's what you do on finals day to separate yourself. Colopinto, important ride. A lot of energy in this one. So now he's back into rhythm on this inside section. Big sweep off the top right there. Another one tail sliding around. He's gonna whip into this inside barrel. Looks like he's loading up though. He looks like he wants something big off the end here. And a big front side punt. No, gets away from him. Let's go. If Griffin Cole Pinto wins the entire event, he'll take the lead in terms of the rankings. High pressure moment. Can he pull it off? Needs a 6.17 for the lead. Nailing it, rail to rail, Whoa. look at this. Comes out. Can he pull it, can he hang on? He's trying, oh, he can't. Enough for the lead. I now like Felipe that. needs a 7.1. A huge moment in the career for Felipe at the surf ranch. This guy might be the best surfer we've ever seen out here. Throws the reverse on the outside. Lays it back. Into the lid. Oh. 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 Wow, well, well, well. Big congratulations to Griffin Colapinto moving through to another final and his first one here at the Surf Ranch Pro. Welcome back to the Surf City El Salvador Pro. Reigning world champion Felipe Toledo's good form continued through the round of 16. Toledo hoist an air reverse, no problem. Oh, slashing turn that was for nuts. Felipe Toledo. Inside of 20 minutes now, emotions running hot in the lineup, that's for sure. Kanoa Irashi and Felipe Toledo locked into this heat right now. Toledo with a 6.67. Igarashi, nice. he's got a pair of sixes. Here we go with Felipe. This is a clean wave, you know, he really waited for that second wave. Those first two turns were beautiful. And sometimes, you know, and I saw this happening at the wave pool. Felipe was trying to take it to the air maybe a little too much. Whereas if he just does this, whoa, it's insane. What was that ender? His power surfing is as good as anyone on tour and electric, right? I fully agree. Smashed in on his, one of his favorite boards for here. Uh, he actually had Papaya Surf end up fixing that board. So uh, it's under his feet thanks to Papaya there Surf. There we go. Boom. Big air reverse working down the line for Felipe Toledo. Impactful maneuver and a high risk maneuver done on the outside of the wave, Peter. And a fifth throw to finish. Toledo's right back in it. Yeah, and a point of difference there. Ian did his air reverse at the end of the ride, did that little tail drift at the beginning. A little bit more flow out of Felipe. Toledo glides that lip. 
some rail work there. Bangs off that section, clears it to the open water, no problem. Surfing with a lot of speed down the line, chucks the fins there. More destruction to the wave here by Felipe Toledo. Eases through a turn. Inside section, beats it up with another snap, and he's feeling it. Felipe Toledo already with a nine-point ride. The gallery loves what well, Let's congratulate our Surf City El Salvador Pro champ, Felipe Toledo. What a beautiful sunrise, and welcome to South Africa. Jeffrey's Bay, it's one of those canvases that is inspiring. Here goes the yellow jersey worn by Felipe Toledo. Big stinging snap, just unleashing 8-5 from the panel. Welcome back to live action from J Bay. Here goes the yellow jersey worn by Felipe Toledo. And he's waited a long time for this wave. 25 minutes, big stinging snap from him. Just unleashing. And again, going up into the lip, getting a little slide. And has to be patient to line up this turn, which is a precise wrapping hook in the pocket again. Just forcing himself into the lip. And a strong, strong finish from him. So after a quiet start, 20 odd minutes without riding the wave, Toledo's got something to say. Look at like we've got world number one in motion. Toledo, two time J Bay champ, throws down a clean down card right back to the lip. Disconnected off that second section. And how about that perfect slice into the pocket? Toledo still running after this one as John gets started to the best on tour. Going back to back here in different heats. And he said the heat against Kelly was a big one. There was a, a few nerves involved with that. I just think the gravity of that heat uh, was weighing on him. But uh, even on this first scoring wave here, this 6-1-7, you can tell he's opened up again. He's feeling a bit free. Here we go, Toledo. Oh my goodness. Felipe Toledo, first turn, snap to slide. Healthy looking wall, how about that searing carve through the open face, back off the top again. Driving off the lip line, beating so many sections. Another big smooth hook, sets up that snap, right back to the top again as he meets the lip. Throws it off the lip again. We see what he's seeing now, some lines approaching. And we'll see if we'll get Toledo to do something big here. Nice clean cutback to kick this one off. Harder off the bottom. Nice blitz off the lip with the air drop. Creating some space. He's on the windup. Higher line now back off the bottom again. An absolute power gouge in the guts of the wave and a blow tail to top it off. Oh, he's good, isn't he? Wow. You can see the celebrations there from the Brazilian camp. That's Bruno. Felipe's longtime filmer. It just makes sense that the fans would choose Toledo. Like you said, from the opening round all the way through, he's been untouchable. Driving down the line with a lot of speed is Felipe as he lays down the down carve. Packs it right there with a solid punch in the pocket, drifts the fins. Three great moves and Toledo still going. Cool little gouge to slide and shuts it down. Toledo, you are an animal. Wow. 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 This is just backing up that 8.83. The champion of the Corona Open, Jay Bay, now for the third time of his career. It is the Toledo Show. We are back in paradise. The wind's blowing, it's offshore, but there's a lot of lump in the light. Style of waves, the, the locals will be able to find it. Toledo in the barrel, comes out of the barrel, a little slide slip on the way out. And why not a big gaff on the backhand too for Felipe Toledo, looking to turn this heat with a 4.47 and take the lead. I think he's gonna take the lead. knew about that, but... Uh... 
I think she's going to be the same as Molly. She's going to be ready and hungry if the opportunity comes. Taking number three on the top five. Good moment for the defending world champ back in yellow officially for the Rip Curl WSL Finals, Pete. And he did it in fine form. He found some barrels. He was able to do some turns. This was right before the momentum shift of the actual conditions in the waves. He saw there was some opportunity here. He, he surfed a very smart heat. You know, he picked his opportunities and then found this one. And that was with priority. He was able to line this one up. Quick in and out barrel. It was the best number of the heat. Went to turns for the backup. Got it done. So uh, very smart and great approach by uh, that man right there to secure that number Showed one. Showed why it's his favorite event on the calendar. It's been a few years since we've seen Medina here. Let's check out this WSL Final Five snapshot on screen. Toledo today officially clinched the number one seed. So he'll be wearing yellow at lower trestles.